Hey everyone, this is Chris back again with a second quest using the two hero deck that I played last week. Uh, there's still a few tricks left in here that you didn't get to see that I'm hoping we will have a chance to show off. Uh, and we are going up against the Caves of Nibin Doom, uh, which is the second more difficult quest from the two player collector's edition starter box nonsense package that. I honestly wish you could just buy the cards for, because it would be such a great way to, to teach people how to play the game, to sort of get them started. Uh, but you can't, so... Oh well. Uh, and I have selected Collapsed Mines, my initial location, drawn my starting hand, and I have Light of Valinor, I have Asphaloth. Uh, we are in good shape. So. Get to it. First things first, Light of Valinor. Uh, this cave torch is on Glorfindel. I am gonna play uh, Risk Some Light for free, just to make sure I'm well set up first couple of turns. Uh, there's a few enemies in here that I don't want to deal with. Looks like it's locations all the way down. Uh, so we'll just do Goblin Tunnels, Goblin Tunnels, Branching Paths. I could put one of those on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Let's do Goblin Tunnels, Branching Paths, and put the last Goblin Tunnels down at the bottom. It's also going to be my second attempt at recording this video, so maybe I'll remember this time the cards that I bury underneath the deck. Right now it is one Goblin Tunnels. Last time I forgot and made some bad choices. I will play a Woodman's Clearing on the Collapsed Mine. I'll commit to the quest. I will send two, five, six. Drop my threat down to 14. Up against four. It's two progress on the quest. Uh, I will travel to this collapsed mine just to get that threat reduction rolling a little bit. I have Asphaloth about to come, uh, which will sort of help us deal with this mass of locations. But no enemies or anything like that, so that's it for the first round, taking up to 15 threat. Drawing a card, that's a good one to see. I'll spend two immediately for Asphaloth. It's added to the stack of attachments over here that I might want to exhaust. Um, I can't play Arwen this turn, so we're just going to send five to the quest. Uh, we're going to be up against five, which is unfortunate. But I can use a Cave Torch to clear branching paths immediately. Uh, so let's see, forced after explored, forced after exhausts. So we'll do the exhaust first. Is this an enemy? Oof. Yes. Uh, after the Cave Torch leaves play, we get the top three and discard one to reveal. One, two. Okay, what is it? One to reveal, two on the bottom of the deck? Yes. All right. Well, I'll reveal Lost in the Dark. Uh, we were not going to place progress this round anyways, so no big deal. I will send Goblin Runners and Lightless Passage to the bottom of the deck. Uh, goblin Tunnels, Goblin Runners, Lightless Passage. I'm not going to remember that for very long. So, uh, five up against five is no progress regardless. Uh, Asphaloth will help me put two on this location, though. I wish I didn't have to do this for the active location, but we'll be fine especially with Arwen coming next round to help me out with the questing a little bit. Our, well, resourceful is also nice. One and two. Uh, spent two for Arwen. One for a resourceful on Glorfindel. Uh, I have Courage Awakened in my hand, which 
will allow me to turn that extra resource every round into willpower every round if my threat stays low. Uh, but we're going to quest right now for seven, up against five. Oof. All right. <laughs> seven up against nine is going to raise my threat by two. Uh, and I will ask Falaf to put two progress on this Layla's Passage. And we'll go to Refresh, taking me up to 19. Uh, and I will ask Falaf immediately to put the last two on Lightless Passage. I don't want to deal with that at all. Draw my card, generate some resources, two Gorfin, one area. Uh, I will play Darren's runes right away. It's got to be something that I want in here. Ooh, tough choice. Um, bum, bum, bum. I'm going to drop Courage Awakened. It's not my favorite card long term. Um, I'll use this second Darren's runes as well. Draw two and discard a Wild Stallion. Yeah, uh, the Stallions are in the deck as one of those tricks that I mentioned. Uh, they turn Arwen into a pretty competent defender on her own, uh, and they make Hobbit Gandalf really very powerful. But right now, I think I would rather have all the other cards in my hand, so we're just going to go with that. One off of Gorfindel for Strider is a nice two willpower, lots of combat boost. Uh, and I will play... A second risk some light before my threat gets too high. Look at the top three cards of the counter deck. One goes on the bottom. I get Goblin Sniper, Cave Troll is just gonna ruin everything. Let's do Ranching Paths, Goblin Sniper, Goblin Troop. No, this is terrible. I'll put the sniper on the bottom. Goblin Tunnels, Goblin Runner, Lightless Passage, Goblin Sniper. I'll be able to watch the video back later and we'll see how right I am at remembering all these things. All right, so committing to the quest, I will send four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is going to be up against eight for better or for worse branching paths boosts the threat of all dark locations do i want to cave towards this branching paths now i think i do so before that effect ever even does anything i will just use cave torch for branching paths no i don't want to do that because i know that's an enemy that i don't want to deal with uh, please ignore. So, up against eight. I sent nine. Means I will make one progress. Move to travel. Can't travel this round. But I will use the torch to clear this location. Might sort of get me in the future, but Woodman's Clearing is three threat reduction, and the mine being gone is just nice. Not going to engage the troll. And for Cave Torch, I get Goblin Troop. Uh, Cave Torch, do we reveal? No, so I don't have to lose any progress for that. Uh, but the threat in the staging area is significant. All right, <laughs> refresh ticks me up to 17. Uh, this attempt is already not going as well as the last one. That's okay. An interesting option. Hmm. All right, uh, let's commit to the quest. Send nine again. 
We'll pay one for Courage Awakened uh, to give Glorfindel two willpower. So that's 11. Up against 5, 11 already. We reveal for the round, oof, second troll. All right, we are up against 14. I think at this point I have no choice but to Cave Torch to put three on branching paths. Is this an enemy? No. And getting rid of Watchful Eyes is actually good. So that's going to clear branching paths. This removes three threat from the staging area, but possibly replaces it with more. Oh, great, 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 great. Uh, I will take Lost in the Dark as the branching paths card. I'm going to All right, uh, Goblin Tunnels, Goblin Runner, Lightless Passage, Goblin Sniper, and I just put down Eyes in the Dark and Crumbling Ruin. And we definitely hit the point where I'm not going to remember all of that. Uh, but okay, so my 11 up against 11 is no progress, but no threat bump either. Uh, I will travel to Goblin Tunnels. I will sit here and look at nine threat worth of enemies in the staging area and wish that I had some of my bigger allies in play. Uh, but we'll see if I draw one soon. Refresh takes me up to 18. And I am in range of using the cave torch to clear this location, which is not bad. All right, well, let's put a Woodman's Clearing on Goblin Tunnels. Uh, once again, I'm going to quest for 11. Up against nine, so this is somewhat unfortunate. Eyes uh, in the dark. Uh, this is gonna be doomed four, effectively. One, two, three. I'm not, just not gonna lose one of these questing characters right now. Uh, but that's not too bad. So 22 up, uh, or sorry, 11 up against nine, 22 threat. Uh, I will make two progress. Uh, and I will ask Philoth to turn that four into six. Really rather not get an enemy right now, if I can avoid it. Uh, and I will just have to deal with exploring that next round. Refresh ticks me up to 23. Draw a card. Well, now, there we go. So now things are looking pretty good. I will spend five resources for a Gandalf. I think I need Treebeard in order to be able to kill a Cave Troll, but I might be able to deal with Goblin Troops now. Uh, I have to do some math. I could probably actually deal with the troll if I am clever. All right, so uh, let's commit to the core. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, Courage Awakened has to go away if I use it. So let's just send the 13 up against 9. I'll decide if I need it after this. Oof, Goblin Sniper. All right, well, now that is officially the worst. Uh, so 13 up against 11 is 2 progress. 1 on this location. 1 on the main quest. That goes away. Woodman's Clearing drops my threat back down to 20. Can't deal with Goblin Sniper, uh, although maybe Gandalf will bring my threat so high that I have to engage him. 
Uh, let me optionally engage a great cave troll. Who gets a shadow card? Uh, Aragorn is going to defend, and then I'm going to use Glorfindel with Tale of Tenubial to boost him up. So with the Arwen defense boost and the three from this, we are currently sitting at six defense on Aragorn. Also six attack. Ooh, attacking enemy makes an additional attack immediately after this one. All right, well, that is the worst, uh, but I take no damage. Uh, and this is going to wreck my chances of killing the cave troll this round, so we're going to have to continue to deal with him. So uh, Aragorn will defend the second attack. Goblin Dungeon. No shadow on that, so I take no damage. I can't do anything with Gandalf. Uh, so I'm going to put this Goblin Sniper damage on Arwen for now. Refresh ticks me up to 21. Draw a card. Well, that one isn't very useful, but I'll take it. I just want Treebeard. Treebeard is really all I want. Uh, I'll spend three for Risk Some Light. Make sure I don't get another sniper. Mm. Put goblins are upon you at the bottom. This warg is acceptable for this round. Uh, and I should have two additional threat because of Gandalf, which I forgot. Um, and I, yes, and I don't have a shadow effect for a great cave troll, so that is vaguely helpful. All right, let's commit to the quest. Uh, we're gonna get two more threat, which means we're gonna be at 10. So I can send nine, 13. Make three progress. So we're at six of eight. I don't have to engage any of these enemies, which is, is probably bad, actually. Uh, and the Arwen boost is on Gandalf this round. Gandalf will defend five defense versus six attack. That effect is nothing because I knew what that card was going to be. Gandalf takes one. Uh, Aragorn and Glorfindel can do a whopping total of... <laughs> Two damage to the cave troll, uh, and the goblin sniper puts one on Glorfindel. Not, not going so hot at this point. <laughs> Pick up two, 26. Draw myself a card. Well, Lembus I like. Uh, one on Aragorn. Two on Glorfindel. Oof. Don't want to be risky and put Lembus on Aragorn and use him as a defender. So I'm going to put this Lembus Lorfindel. Uh, and we're going to use him to soak up a little more sniper damage before we progress. So, uh, committing to the quest, I'll send 13 again. Up against 10 right now. Goblin Town Scavengers gets plus one. Up against 12, make one progress. I, uh, at this point, have to engage these gobbos. Uh, Armin Stephen's boost is on Gandalf. So, Gandalf defends against the troll. It's going to take one, probably. That shadow effect does nothing, so yes, Gandalf takes one. Oh, Glorfindel defend the scavengers? As you set by one for each point of damage dealt by this attack, it does nothing. Of course, I realize this means that Aragorn doesn't 
Oh wait, yes. Zero defense. Aragorn has exactly enough to kill the scavengers, which is what I wanted. So we're not making progress on the troll front. And the sniper continuing to put Aragorn's or arrows into Glorfindel. Up to 29 threat. So many cars that would be very good to see right now, like Treebeard or the Pony. Uh, we'll see if we get one of them. One of these on Aragorn. Six resources now on Glorfindel. Well, Elrond's council is not nothing, but it's also not something. So we quest. 13, 14, brought my threat back down to 26. Uh, really, I think all I would need is Treebeard to sort of stabilize from this position. Uh, 14 up against 10 in the staging area. 11, 11 in the staging area. Means I make two progress and advances me past the Dark of Nibbin Doom. To stage 2A, which pops in the Goblin Chieftain and forces me to grab another enemy of my choice. Is it revealed? No. Hmm. <sighs> Well, uh, so we're, we're just dead now. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'll take this Goblin Runners. So uh, at this point, during the encounter phase, treat each enemy's engagement cost as if it were zero, uh, which would have been fine in the first attempt I made at this quest. Because uh, I got Treebeard a little earlier, I had sort of a, a better handle on the enemies, ramped up to the point where I was killing the cave troll if it showed up every round, uh, as opposed to this time around, where that most definitely did not happen, and this deck is not at all set up to deal with, what is this going to be, eight enemy attacks during the combat phase this round? So yeah, uh, <laughs> that is uh, about the end of this attempt. I think we would have done a little better if I hadn't gotten the extra attack shadow effect on Great Cave Troll. Uh, just because that attack does so much damage and I was set up to be able to kill the troll that round and instead, it sort of forced me to keep defending with Gandalf. The double Goblin Town scavengers also did not help, because if there were other enemies, I could have uh, a paused a little longer. But, oh well, that is how it goes. And this quest is definitely known to be a little bit harder than the first quest from this expansion. Uh, and I think Overrun with Goblins is a, a pretty fa fair failure state. All right, everyone. That's going to do it for me this week. Thanks for watching.